Peter. <laughs> we, we are going to continue with um, the next uh, presentation right away. Um, well, using alternative protein sources has an impact and positive impact on our beautiful, on the saving, on protection of our beautiful planet. But is there also a positive side effect on the health of our pets when they eat insect ingredients? This question will be answered in depth by our next person on stage, company on stage. Welcome, Bruna from Protex. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for your attention because uh, on this uh, huge fair and, and you are here for this talk, so it's a really uh, honor. And thank you very much uh, for your attention. And uh, today I will walk you through our new uh, canine oral health study. So as you um, already suspect, uh, I will speak about insect ingredients and how they can improve uh, the oral care of the dogs and also uh, improve the breath, breath, bad breath. So as a very short introduction, uh, this is uh, ProteinX, uh, a product from Protex. Uh, it's a Dutch company leading the, in the insect industry. Uh, we are uh, in a market for several years and this uh, product it's made from the black soldier fly larva uh, and it's uh, mainly a dry uh, source of protein so we know already that has a very good palatability high digestibility uh, can be used as a hypoallergenic protein because uh, most of the animals was never exposure to this new uh, source of protein so it can work really well for those animals uh, it's healthy and the footprint is uh, low, especially compared to the traditional proteins. Uh, but uh, the main question uh, we were looking to answer was if this uh, product, besides the nutritional value, can also have some uh, health benefits uh, to the animals. So uh, we decided uh, to do mainly because uh, protein eggs and uh, insects in general, they have antimicrobial peptides in their body because uh, the insects, they have not uh, a yeah, complex immune system. So the way they have to protect themselves against uh, bacterial infection, for example, is producing those antimicrobial peptides. So, uh, and the, yeah, I don't want to bother you with this, uh, uh, yeah, full explanation, but the antimicrobial peptides, they can, they can act in the bacterial membrane because they have high affinity and interact with this membrane due to some electronic uh, comp uh, distribution uh, disrupting this membrane and making the bacteria vulnerable and eventually uh, they die. So, and if we, in the other hand, if we look for the host uh, cell membrane, so it could be a human being or it could be a dog or a cat, uh, the cell membrane has a different uh, electronic distribution. So those, uh, the same antimicrobial peptides it doesn't represent a risk because there was weak or no interaction uh, between the antimicrobial peptides and the host cells. And then we believe that this could be a very good antimicrobial agent that can be used to improve the health of the animals. And then we decided to carry, carry out this study with the goal to investigate if the black soldier fly larva could have some impact in the dog's oral, hair, oral care. Uh, and then uh, a little uh, on the material and methods of this study. So it was carried out in the Federal University of Paraíba in Brazil. Uh, we enrolled uh, eight dogs in a crossover design. So we know that uh, oral uh, condition, there is a very strong individual effect. So uh, we understood that could be, would be good to use the same dogs receiving both treatments. So there was a two 
tre treatments. Uh, the first one, a diet, a dry diet extruded with 29% of black, of black soldier fly larva. And the control diet was a very similar composition uh, in nutrients and also in ingredients. But uh, in this time, the, the, uh, the main protein was uh, poultry by product meal. So basically, the main differences between the diet was the protein source. So there was uh, two periods of 50 days. And also uh, important to note that the, all animals passed through a veterinary procedure to remove all calculus and all plague uh, before the study start. And if you uh, want to know more or deeper, there is already a publication. Um, so please uh, feel free to reach out if you want to know more, or you can also yeah, uh, search yourself, so uh, if you prefer. And uh, the main findings uh, in this study uh, led to understand that Protein X was able to reduce the volatile sulfur compound producing bacteria in the dental plague. I will uh, explain more about this in the next slides. The second point was an increase in the abundance of the Moraxilla bacteria, which is a natural bacteria in the saliva of the animals, considered like a, a natural and beneficial bacteria. And also the third point, uh, it was possible to see improvements in the, in the breath of the animals. So uh, going uh, a little more detail on the results. So uh, the volatile sulfur compound bacteria, uh, producing bacteria, it's a group of bacteria very important in the pathogenesis of the periodontal disease and also responsible to produce sulfur uh, compounds in the mouth which are responsible for the bad breath of the animals so uh, we uh, the study uh, was uh, monitoring this uh, specific group of bacteria in the plague of the animals so the animals were submitted to plague uh, collection of uh, certain teeth of the mouth and uh, after that uh, the samples were place it in a selective media for this bacteria so they grow and, they, and we, uh, there was the counting of this uh, bacteria of the colonies of this bacteria and as a result you can see yeah. so for the control diet the first one the poultry byproduct diet uh, we saw an increase after 50 days so remember the dogs were submitted to the dental cleaning and then after uh, 50 days there was this uh, measurement again and then we saw an, an increase uh, of this uh, volatile sulfur uh, compound producing bacteria which was expected that if you have the cleaning uh, and if you are not uh, providing any prophylactic measure it's uh, kind of expected that would be higher but uh, the interesting thing was uh, when we look for the black soldier fly larva group, there was a reduction. So a reduction, it's already positive itself because uh, we would expect an increase, not a reduction. So it was a very uh, yeah, interesting uh, finding. And uh, regarding the saliva evaluation, so the dogs had the saliva collected by the end of the period, and there was uh, a metagenomic analysis uh, using the DNA extraction from the bacteria, and there was a screening of these groups of bacteria in the mouth of, in the saliva of the animals, and as main findings uh, was uh, higher abundance of the Moraxilla uh, genus and also uh, some species of Moraxilla. Uh, it was higher or more abundant in the group uh, who received the black soldier fly. And uh, the nice thing is, is aligned to the previous find that some uh, pathogenic bacteria was decreasing and this beneficial bacteria was more abundant in the saliva. So results were uh, aligned on this sense and I, I, I mentioned the Moraxella it's 
uh, natural. Uh, it's part of the saliva of the dogs and very fi uh, fine with uh, frequency the dogs with a uh, healthy uh, mouth. And the, the last uh, finding was regarding the smell of the breath of the animals. So the, uh, the dogs were submitted to a test where some panelists were smelling the breath of the dogs after 50 days. Uh, and then they were classifying about, uh, regarding the, 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 the smell of the breath. And we also found some significant uh, differences. So when they received the poultry byproduct diet, uh, they, they were uh, scored with a higher or more smelly breath. And uh, when they received the black soldier fly, the people was able to note difference and feeling a more uh, or a less uh, intense odor in the breath. So uh, bringing together all these three very promising findings, uh, we conclude that uh, the ingredient uh, should be explored uh, for this very nice claim uh, that could be uh, something for complete but also complementary diets I hope that this inspires you so uh, to yeah, uh, consider and also carry on with new results, new data, new products. So our intention is always inspire. And uh, for who don't know yet, uh, Proteix also supply other products, uh, whether the protein eggs, but we also have uh, a fat source we call lipidex, and we also have a third ingredient, which is uh, the purex, uh, recommended for wet diets, but also for extruded diet as a fresh slurry that can go uh, in the extrusion as a wet ingredient. And uh, yeah, just uh, going to the conclusion, the main goal of the company is provide health solutions, uh, uh, possibilities to reduce the footprint of pet food in general, and also uh, being a solution from the nature. So uh, we brought from the nature uh, an answer, perhaps, for uh, a more uh, sustainable uh, environment uh, and planet. And we, um, yeah, as inspiration again, uh, if you go to our booth, if you didn't pass through that, I really recommend if you are interested on this topic, uh, we launched uh, three studies, this one on the oral care, but we also had uh, very nice uh, results uh, from a study on cats. Uh, and also uh, we launched uh, our new numbers uh, from the life cycle assessment, uh, which uh, we are very proud. Uh, we have a very uh, exciting numbers to share. So if you go to our booth, you will not be bored. There is a lot of nice things to see. So this is uh, our booth uh, location. We are in Hall 3, booth uh, 311. And uh, if you want to know more, please uh, stop by. And we can also uh, enjoy to take a selfie with our kissable dog uh, as a reference on the, our uh, oral care study. And thank you very much for your attention. If you might have questions, we have some people from Protex here. Maybe you can raise your hands. <laughs> If you have uh, questions or uh, invite you again to pass to our booth if you didn't already. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Bruna, for, for these uh, scientific insights. Very interesting and uh, big crowd. I'm pretty sure you have some questions. Um, please go ahead. I'm going to hand you the microphone if uh, you want to ask a question. There you go. Hello again. <laughs> Thank you, Bruna. It was very interesting. Uh, I have the first question. 
you made the study with the protein X and I wanted to ask you if you think that we sh could expect the same kind of uh, results with Purex, for example, if uh, we use the uh, all insects. Yeah, um, I could say that the concept is the same. We also believe that the antimicrobial peptides present there, there uh, have also an action. We don't have a, a, a dedicated study for this specific ingredient, but we believe that it's a very promising ingredient as well because it's the same uh, mechanism of action that we expect for this ingredient. So the components are there. Uh, and it could be even more interesting because we know that the wet diets uh, where the most of the applications of pure X uh, is, uh, can also uh, be uh, one of the points that we can improve uh, offering wet food that uh, we know that it's uh, more um, prone to provide some oral disabilities, let's say. Yeah, so... Thank you. <laughs> I have another question, but after. Yeah? Oh. Um, and about the digestive uh, microbiome, we could also expect that we have um, an effect on the health of the digestive yeah. system. Glad uh, that you asked, thank you. <laughs> because this was like a small part of a big study we did, uh, we, we sponsored uh, last year. And uh, we also check at all the boxes for the digestibility, the acceptance of the food, and also the uh, feces uh, consistency. And we also assess the microbiota of the dogs. And we indeed saw uh, some uh, beneficial shifts in the bacteria in, on the gut. Uh, and uh, in, indeed, yes, we can expect some uh, benefi benefits on a gut uh, health level, so we hope also to share those results in the future, in a near future. Any other questions? Did you just raise your hand? No? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, thank you very much. You know where Bruna can be found for further discussion. Yeah. Thank you for presenting you. and uh, all the best.